every single time I've been overseas, I must tell you, the first few weeks or even the first few months, I love it. It's something fresh, it's something new, just as many of you who come from out of California come here. But about a week before I begin, a week before I leave, I can't be begin to feel the itch of home. <laughs> And I must tell you that the, the best impetus to photograph in California comes when you're on foreign land and you can't wait to get home. I've become really obsessive about California, all starting with a grandfather who told me stories about it. I really can't put into words today, I can only put it into photographs, whatever meaning the state of mind called California has for me. It's really something that I can't believe is connected with a young kid who dreamt a great deal, who played a little football, who was scared to death of going into the Catholic cathedral, who did all kinds of things to avoid being known as coming from a foreign family because my grandparents raised me and they were German or Russian Jewish or <coughs> something like that. And all, all that that kid meant and did and felt was stopped by going away to school, which was the first opening for the world to that kid then going to Chicago, where the vigor of business dismayed him terribly. And it became a turning point to find that photography, in this case in a studio, was a way out of that insidious, inverted kind of youngster. Becoming a photographer really opened the world to me. Instead of just learning how to run a camera, I learned how to be alert, to use my eyes, to see things that I had never dreamt of before. And luckily, the architects who first paid me when I came to California to work on their creative efforts didn't know how lousy I was, or they would have never paid me a nickel. But I learned quickly, and I learned toward a purpose, and that work in architecture gave me a feel for an 8x10 camera that nothing else could have substituted for. I don't have to look at the knobs anymore. I don't have to see where anything is. I just know it. And this, in turn, made it possible for me to do what I really loved, was speaking about the place in which I finally came to live, where I'd spent a long time dreaming about it, and where the Golden Hills still attract me probably more than anything else. I still think I can use that ground glass better than I can do anything else, and I love to think that way. But eventually, I think, you must know by now, transcending all the material you learn about how to do it, why to do it, when to do it, that comes from up here, <coughs> eventually you get to be an intuitive photographer, and this is what controls it. I hope you all find whatever it is in your life might make for you what those golden hills made for me. Photography can open your eyes in a way you never thought possible before. It can make you see things and feel things and dream of things that you never did before. I hope I'll see you all again, maybe a year from now. Thanks very much. <laughs>